What is going on everybody and welcome back to another video here. Real quick thing in the beginning of this, 30 times entries are live for Nasty Red 2.0 and it is less than one week until that giveaway is ending. It ends this Sunday on June 25th. You should be seeing this on a Tuesday if you see it the day it goes up, which means you've got like less than five days and then that giveaway is over. Again, it's this truck right here, Nasty Red 2.0. It is beautiful. New tires, new wheels, mirrors, brand new Delmonico red paint off of a newer Ram pickup color. It's freaking sick. If you want to get entered to win that thing, you are almost out of time. That is a fan favorite truck over all the years. That's the number one truck everybody's always loved. It is your last chance to ever get entered to win that truck plus $5,000 in cash. Hit that link in the description. Or go to lmpgear.com. You can grab a shirt like this one, a hat like this one, and it could win you that truck plus five grand. And here's the cool part. If you don't want to keep the truck, Maybe you can't afford to keep the truck or you'd rather have the cash. You could always just sell the truck. You can sell the truck. You could even maybe sell it back to me if you really wanted to sell it. But you can always sell the truck and just take cash instead and put it towards whatever you want. So just think about that and uh, best of luck to you. So we've got the wifey out here. Just checking out her trailer. We updated you guys in the previous video. and I don't remember exactly what all was done. I think we had like one primer coating and then we had one teal blue coating and then we had no paint on the wheels not really any paint in the wheel well fenders and then so let them know what you got done like since then because all we had was one coat of teal on the outside and that was it so i actually ran out of base paint so i had to go back and get a whole nother gallon to do the inside and then i did two coats on the inside and another coat on the outside so it's got a total of two coats all over the trailer. And then I put the mats back in. And then we found these pool noodles that were from Walmart that were just cheap kind of padding for temporary. I mean, it works. Um, and since it's going to be outside, you know, this is going to be a lot easier to replace and keep clean if I need to. I still need to put zip ties on this, but it matches the trailer pretty well. Um, it really does actually. And then we did the ceiling and everything and I actually just got a shower because I literally hair everything was She looked like a smurf is what she's it's, trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> it's still on me but it'll a, come a off teal like smurf. Time, so. um, but yeah these actually match really well. This is actually three pool noodles but I think I'm going to need a fourth one. I thought three would be good but these are what was left of when I cut so I might need a pull another one right here but Really, this is the main part that I worry about. Um, right, they're high end. But banging I mean, around on that. this still stops it, you know. But I'm a perfectionist, so I'll probably end up getting another one, and they're cheap, so it is. Um, and then we are I already got a matching cooler and like a bin to put all my gear in. So it's actually like this exact color. Yeah, my whole Walmart like cart was full of teal stuff. I was like, people probably think I'm crazy, but it's okay because I am. So. <laughs> but look at that it's all she got it all done on the inside ground off the stuff as much as you could i mean there was a couple of really big like rust spots that were on this wall that she was able to grind out and by the time she grind them out and then primed it i mean it literally like totally made the wall flush now the stuff down low is a little bit more corrosive so it's just a little right. bit harder to blend this is from urine and bedding sitting in here and the issue with these mats is it doesn't really like come up on the side so when you leave bedding in here it just yeah. Sits and rust. Right. You know, pee is obviously acidic, so it's just totally rust. Yeah, that's something that, like, each time you use it, if they do pee or crap in here, you almost just have to take a pressure washer and just pressure wash out right. the, the crack on each side. That well, way, it at well, least. What's nice is these are thin enough that I can pull out them myself and wash them down and right. keep them dry. And, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it turned out pretty good on the inside. It looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, keep in mind, guys, this was a. Uh, three thousand dollar trailer here yeah it's not perfect this one wasn't here this one was already new so it wasn't really necessary uh but we just did a quick with stoleum and then i painted we took them when we took them off i painted the wheel wells finally and then these kind of got touched but it's obviously like it's gonna come off and right well if you really wanted to you could always just take a little hand brush and paint the hubs right. white but, if it bothers you and then the door got as well and then the inside it's got a good coat um but 
And we do have to finish going yeah. through her wiring and stuff though we too. Need the wiring and the like those are gonna need to be cold from the inside because there are little holes by windows. So there's still little things that need fixed, but oops, sorry. You gotta see this you gotta see little magnets, honey. <laughs> yeah, I've been holding them up. It's all time. about the magnets. She's <laughs> probably gonna fill the whole inside of that door over time. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I didn't really focus much underneath the actual gooseneck part just because you're not going to see it a whole lot and it was, I'm not going to lie, pretty flaky. Um, and my main goal was just the outside, I guess. Nothing like holes or concerning or anything like that, but. Unless you powder coat it, you go to get it professionally done. But and even then, powder coating is only so permanent. Right. It still gets scratched off if it rubs Especially on metal on metal horses. contact. All you need is a horse to kick this while they're standing and scrape the whole paint off, and then you're like, crap, I just paint. I just paid some money to green to paint this. And right. Now it's me. Um, but yeah, so this one's just kind of like way better than what it was. I don't know if you can like put a I'll put a before photo right here. But anyways, and then look at that. We still gotta go into it through the windows here and like where we actually hit with the grinder and right. little like, And I told her what she should do is paint, like mask this off, maybe just the glass. Mm -hmm. Like you see this like how there's like a groove all the way around, like, like the rubber, so. yeah. And then just paint the metal trim on the outside, like paint it white. And then maybe you have to be careful, go with the hand brush and paint like that one trim piece that wraps all the way from the back. It wraps all the way around the front. Maybe do like one of those trim pieces or you could do like that trim piece and this trim piece, just like, just to have a little bit of white accent. Who knows? And we might do some like set of the orange running lights. We might do white to match the truck. Yeah. LED strips on the inside so that you can see well at night. Put some underglow on it. Right. <laughs> I mean, if Anthem wants to sponsor this, I'm just It's Anthem. They yeah. can match my wheels and my truck. Yeah. Um, I, the, we did have that idea. We're like, man, we should, we should see if Anthem wants to work with us on a horse trailer project and get a set of Anthem wheels that's the same bolt pattern as the trailer wheels and throw some of those Anthem... I think they're Avenger. What's what? I don't know those. We've had those for so long. I don't know. I don't remember for sure. So I don't want to put a, a, a model on them. We've had them for so long, but we'll link them in the description. <laughs> well, yeah, they're all, they're always linked in the description anyway. But um, get a set of those in this bolt pattern and just like swap the tires over to a new set of wheels. I think that would be super sick to have it match the match yeah. the truck's wheels. But tornado come through here Thursday and this actually held up pretty well with only one coat so I'm actually pretty surprised like it had leaves all over it where you can tell sticks and stuff beat, beat on it and it held up really well so yes tornado I will get into that yeah. in another part of the video here actually was my plan Luckily, none of the vehicles got damaged. So yes. Mostly our house. Yeah, so that's the update for now. Um, I'll try to keep you guys posted on his videos of any updates if we get anything else done. Um, for now, we're just going to be happy where I'm at and slow it down because I rushed it. I mean, how long have we owned it for? A week. Yeah, a week. And I'm, it was already like every day, like, let's get this done, let's get this done. But we only <laughs> really we worked on it for like, that, we really only worked on it for like three and a half I days, know. maybe. But I'm like one of those people that once I get a project, like, I, I just want to get it done. And so it's bad. It's a bad trait. But <laughs> the pain's done. So I'm going to slow it down and do the little stuff at a time. Sitting behind you. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> a round pin? Yeah. I've never owned a round pin, so that's Yeah, well, now you do. <laughs> It's a used one though, just because I didn't want to buy it. Hardly it was, used. Yeah, it was it's really good condition, but actually having something to work my horses in is going to be a game changer because you don't have to put them on a lunge line. You can just, you know, just train them off your body language. So that's really cool. Right. 
And as she had mentioned, a tornado did actually come through here. And her and I actually saw the tornado right down there across from the yard in the neighbor's backyard or just beyond it. I mean, it might've looked like it was in their backyard. It might've been just beyond it because you can see a pretty good ways out here in some directions. But we were having a day pretty much like this, just a little bit cloudy, but for the most part, it was like 20% chance of rain, really nothing. Then around four or five o'clock, it was like, 80% chance of rain. I'm like, okay, that's still not bad. We could use the rain. And then we get dinner, we're eating, having a good time. And then all of a sudden, it's just like all our phones are going off, like tornado warning. And I'm like, tornado warning? I'm like, what the heck? And then it just starts pouring rain. And then everybody else had kind of went downstairs because we had some family in town too with the kids. And her and I are looking out the windows. We're just kind of like, it doesn't look like there's a tornado. You know what I mean? Like it was, it was just raining, like whatever. I'm like, whatever. And sometimes those tornado warnings, sometimes they're not like specific to your location. Sometimes it's like within a county around you or something. So they put them out anyways. And so we're like sitting there looking and then we're like, that's not looking good. And we thought we could see basically like a funnel cloud coming right down and moving towards our property from right across the neighbor's property here, heading straight towards our house. And I think it literally missed our house by like 150 ish yards in terms of where it went through and i can try to show you the best that i can of like what happened but it is pretty yeah, scary one because of our neighbors actually got it on youtube yeah so one of our neighbors right down the like road ashland county tornado right it'll come up and it looks exactly like we saw and he's like just down two or three hundred yards down the... yeah so so one of our neighbors actually got it on video and we were looking at the window and we're like I think that's that's it coming right towards us and it was one of those it was getting kind of late in the evening so it was getting a little bit dark but there's enough lightning flashing where you could still kind of make it out and then i'm like i think that's it and then all of a sudden we just start getting like pelted with hail like hitting our house like good marble size like or bigger hail like hitting our house and like blowing through all of our screens and our windows and then we were just like okay we're going downstairs so then i got like a gun vault room and we we're all just in there because it's got concrete walls around it and stuff like that. And so grabbed we were the farm dog, put him in the back. Right, we grabbed grabbed the grabbed Bear, our big golden retriever. And he's literally like a bear. I mean he's <laughs> he's big, but took him downstairs and of course he's like, This is way better than the garage. <laughs> Coming on prowling on down to the basement. But yeah, so I was just gonna show you guys around a little bit of a little bit of the the damage a lot of some of it's very subtle like it wasn't that bad but there's definitely like there's pieces of our house blown across the yard um some of our furniture i pulled it actually i pulled it out of the neighbor's field because it was all mangled up and blown all over the place and then we had lots of trees that just got absolutely ripped apart like some really big ones too and neighbors had them like straight out of the roots well we've got some yeah like Which, that that's like something that strong it said it was like 85 mile an hour winds like to be able to like fully pull a tree out of the ground is pretty insane yeah i mean i'm gonna go back i'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff back in our property but i mean you can pretty much see where it moved through and it was talking about the two towns that this tornado touched down and moved through and the one town is only like a few hundred yards away and the other towns not even a mile the other direction and where they're talking about it came through is like <laughs> right through our house all that being said let's give you guys a little look here at the destruction most of it's in the back of the property but there was a couple of things where it was close enough to the house that it did rip some stuff up so as you can see like it ripped off some of the tin up there ripped off some of the soffit and then it like blew a bunch of little holes you can see like little holes all over our siding from the um you can see there's more over there there's some little holes there ripped off some more of the trim on the house here put some big cracks on her siding and that's like from huge pieces of hail just pelting it and beating the house up but i mean it it ripped some stuff up pretty good and you can see up there too so you know it ripped some stuff up of course you can see the leaves scattered like all over the yard everywhere of course none of those were here i mean just everywhere like it threw that big bench that bench is actually like mostly made out of cast iron with just some wooden slats and that sucker is heavy and it was up around the front corner of the house and somehow it ended up back over there 
and all mangled up. This is where we're thinking it kind of passed through. So my wife and I saw it moving through over here, like just not by their house, but just on the other side of those trees. And you can see like how there's like trees just leveled out all through here. It just made like a path and just like completely like leveled out a, a bunch of trees, like right through the back of our property here. And you can see like these big pines in there. There's several huge sections where like it ripped it like clean up off and dropped it down over there. Um, there's like four of them in here that are just ripped apart. And then on the back side here, there's another one where this pine got ripped off like halfway up and it threw it like 30 yards over um, into another section of weeds and grass over there, which is just pretty crazy. And again, some of our siding ripped off. And then you can see from here, actually, our barn roof. It's kind of hard to see from right here. Let me get a different angle. But the roof of the barn, a ton of shingles got ripped off. There was a couple of really small, like, just a couple of real small shingles that were missing, but not really that many. And now it's just like tons of them are ripped off. And you can see the shingles scattered all over the sides of the field over there at the neighbors and all over behind the barn see all these pine limbs just thrown everywhere there's one of those tops that was thrown off and then there's another one in the weeds over there and there's of course a piece of our house tin there and then another piece of it somehow over here and like i said you can see some of those huge trees that's a, that's a ways out there just like leveled all the way through there and then like there's a huge tree top right here and that's actually from a tree that's like over here and it like ripped the top off and set it up in the top of that other tree which is just kind of crazy and then my wood pile my wood pile almost got completely sucked out and then these big sections of walnut here there was actually an entire tree over here there's another section there was actually an entire huge walnut tree that was growing right here in the fence row and it was ripped into like three different sections. You can see where it twisted it apart from those two pieces. And there was another section that was longer in both these together. And I already cut that all up and split it and stacked it there. And then in there, I've got a bunch of that walnut as well, all stacked away. But that, uh, that was a tree kind of like this one, actually almost identical, but it was right down there on the side of the yard and it got all, all the trunks got ripped apart. And all there is is like a small section of stump that's just like a giant ball of spikes where it, they all just literally get ripped from the base of that tree and just scattered across the yard down there. And then you can see kind of what I was talking about here. I mean, this hickory tree got ripped to pieces, um, just branches mangled up and ripped up everywhere. And then that big walnut there as well, branches just got ripped off and thrown all over the place into that field. all those big walnut branches ripped off and thrown over there and then if you look here you can see these two small oak trees they're probably a good 14 ish inches in diameter and they both just got completely twisted off i mean you can see they were just twisted off midway up and then just ripped in half and thrown over and those trees were perfectly healthy nothing wrong with them at all look over here you can clearly see this here tree right sitting in front of this tree stand location got completely ripped apart luckily the stand tree is totally fine and strong and healthy still it didn't really move at all but the tree right in front of it a bunch of the big limbs as you can see it just got completely twisted and thrown off the thing so that's kind of a bummer. There's a tree right there. It was ripped out by the roots and tossed around. And then if you look back in there, there's a bunch of them. And if I get off here and I go show you some stuff. I mean, this stuff back in here got leveled. And this is where I think this tornado moved through is the back of our property here is where it mostly 
pass through and you know there's just a lot of trees ripped apart back here so this is just some dead stuff which you always kind of expect that stuff to fall down when you get strong winds of any kind but if you look back in even the neighbor's property all the daylight coming through in those spots there's just huge trees that were just completely ripped to pieces and it's not even just like trees that were just pushed down like a lot of them if you look at the way they were damaged they look like they were blended you know what i mean like they almost just look like they were shredded to pieces and there's just limbs scattered every which direction um like even this big one here i mean it's just like it just looked like it got blended i mean just ripped apart and then it almost looks like it moved through this direction here because like I said, that's the way I think it moved through the property was came through our property at an angle, moved through right over there, which is where that one root base tree was ripped up, came through here, ripped this tree up. And then if you move through, cause looking over this way, there's not really a whole lot down. And then it's just, you can see where, again, where I think it moved through the property and just worked its way back. And there's just stuff just ripped up everywhere. I mean, just big trees tore to pieces um, all the way back through the property that same direction and now we for a fact saw you know the tornado that moved through here it was pretty crazy because it was i mean we got the warnings and stuff and we we're just kind of like it didn't really look like there's any kind of a bad storm and then all of a sudden it's just like right there like outside of our great room windows just moving right at us and then it just kind of was moving towards us and just kind of veered around our house like at the last minute anyways if you want to get entered to win the nasty red 2.0 12 outcomes plus five thousand dollars in cash you guys got like five days left and then that giveaway's over maybe four days when you see this so don't waste any time hit that link lmpgear.com go place those orders somebody's got to take that truck home and that somebody could be you i'll catch you in the next one